What would you say to someone about getting their first tattoo or if they're hesitant to getting a tattoo? What would you say to them? Um, well, first of all, if they're hesitant because of the pain factor, uh, you just got to realize that that's, it, it's going to depend on where you're, where on your body, uh, even if it's on a meaty part like a thigh or yeah. on the side of the arm or something, which is traditionally the least painful, it's still going to sting a little. It takes a little getting used to, but I think... And you'll agree because you've had, you've had plenty of tattoos. Yeah. I, I've had you know I've had at least several hours in the chair, <laughs> and it does get addicting. It's oh, almost yes. like one of those, oh, yeah. <laughs> like it, like if you've been in the chair for a while. I did this whole uh, half sleeve in one shot. I did the outline. We took like a 10, 15 minute break. Yeah, and then did the rest of it. Yep. You know, and, and even the even Jim was like, dude, I thought for sure you're gonna have to come back and do like the coloring <laughs> and. So it you get to a point where after you've been in the chair for a few hours, you're just like, kind of like I can't wait for it to end. Just finish it, yeah. Yeah, but uh, so that that's the pain factor. You just, just got to deal with it. It's really honestly not that bad, yeah, and you get in, you get used to it because you're thinking like I'm getting a tattoo. This is what I want. I want it on my body the rest yeah, of my life. Yeah. Small amount of pain you got to go through in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. For something that lasts forever, and yeah, it's fine. Yeah, if you if you can deal for the hour or, yeah, or whatever it takes to hours, sit there, yeah. 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 I mean, and, and I I would even say like if you if you want to come back for another session i think you would probably right. agree with me come back for that extra yeah, session you if know you can't I mean? handle it and that's fine yeah. not every, everyone's yeah. pain tolerance is different oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. um but i will say I, you know it's even even girls you know uh they are some tough customers and oh, they yeah. can sit there and i know plenty of females that have been like whatever it doesn't hurt that bad <laughs> Let's like do you it. know what i mean like and then you get other people who two seconds into their first session they're yeah. i can't handle it so yeah, yeah. I, it's not meant to scare anybody. It's just it is what it is. Be prepared yeah. for a little bit of pain and whatever, but get through it. If you want the tattoo and you want it to look good, you got to sit still. Don't squirm. Don't be moving. You know, just whatever. But now, as far as if they're hesitant about the factor, oh, what's it going to look like when I get older? Or, oh, you know, do I want this on me? Yeah, just make sure you know what you want. Um, and do your homework. Um, just because a friend suggests a certain place to you, most tattoo artists are going to have their stuff on the wall. They're going to have like a book for you to look through. Look through it and make sure you know that, okay, I like this guy's work or this girl's work. Like, make sure you're into it and don't feel it's a tattoo. It's going to yeah. be on you the rest exactly. of your life. Yeah. So, again, yeah. don't, you know, we, we do live in a, in a culture where instant gratification, we want everything done ASAP, yeah. but don't rush it because I have had a cover up. It's a, it, I liked the meaning of, of what I got back when I was 18. I mentioned that earlier. Mm -hmm. But I did not like the design that ended up being. Okay. And plus, on top of that, the artist who did it wasn't great. Well, and, okay. I, and I was 18 and young and, and <laughs> like, didn't yeah, buy it. Yeah, tattoo. Yeah, and I just wanted it. So okay. that that's the advice I would give was it, you know, as long as you're down with what the tattoo means, if it means a lot to you, whether it's representing somebody, you're, you know, like I said, I want to get the gypsy head and the snake to represent my, my mom and dad and, you know, get another different Lazio tattoo to represent my grandpa and my Italian family. So... Yeah, everyone gets tattoos for different reasons. As long as you enjoy the reason, don't do it for somebody else. Don't <laughs> yeah, do it to don't impress do, yeah. anybody else. Yeah, no. um, but yeah, you know, yeah. just kind of just uh, do it in a way where you are happy, but take your time. There's oh, yeah. no reason that to get something that's going to be on you for the rest of your life for you to rush that decision in any way. Now, I did want to ask, um, with the, the Lazio cover-up, is... I, I know you said it wasn't because it was all that good. Do you really do you regret getting it at eighteen? Do you is it sort of um, do you, obviously you say you wish it was a little bit different. So I right. mean, is this more of a regret thing, or is it more of like you know what this was my screw up? You yeah. know this my you know this was my learning curve for tattoos. Right. Is that sort of what it was? I mean, or? that's the thing though is that I, I you know you would think like I wish I could go back in time and follow the own advice that I just gave, yeah. but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's. Um, I don't regret it in a sense that, you know, like I said, because the meaning of it was there. So even if that was still on me and that's all that was and having to explain it to people, oh, what's that mean? And, you know, yeah. what's that mean? I even got some stick for it when I was joining the service because at oh, the time okay. that I joined the Navy, that was the only tattoo I had. Okay. And because it was uh, just not something that you would know, like literally you'd never seen it on anybody before. <laughs> yeah. So their big thing when I was during going through the process of getting accepted into the service their big thing is they thought it was some sort of gang tattoo. They didn't know what this. They didn't know what That's Lazio awesome. was. They thought yeah. it was. They thought it was some gang tattoo. And it, it sounds like it could be an Italian gang. Not gonna lie. I'm not even Italian. <laughs> they, they kept hammering. They're like, we're not gonna do our research and find out this is some gang back where you're from and this yeah. and that. And I'm like, I had to keep saying no. I almost laughed at first because I was like, 
Really? <laughs> and, and yeah. the, but, but then when the, the petty officer in the Navy is looking me dead in the eye and she's like, dead serious, I'm like, like okay. oh, okay. Well, I'm like, well, no, it's really not a game tattoo, I swear. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just not that, it, like I said, not that it even looked like a gang tattoo. I don't regret it. I, I know what it meant for me. And that's what's most important to people is it get something on you where you want it, wherever. It's your body. And that's the most important thing is it's your body. If you're worried about it, if you're younger and you're worried about your parents giving you yeah. problems for it, uh, okay, I mean, they might start throwing the, well, it's my house, my rules kind of thing, <laughs> then maybe that like, that sucks, and maybe you're going to have to wait, yeah, wait if, that, yeah. if they're that dead set against it. But, uh, you know, just um, do it for you, though. I, ultimately, at the end of the day, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, like, oh, mom and dad are cool with me getting a tattoo, but if it's this, well, then don't get it. Because it's, if yeah. it's not something you really want, wait till you're out of the house or whatever. Um, but ultimately, just... Do something that you want to get at the time. Now, you may regret it 10 years later because people change. Yeah, yeah. For me, I didn't regret at all the meaning of the tattoo. I just regretted the design of it. Okay. So. All right, cool. And then uh, one last question. Why do you enjoy the traditional style? Because you've mentioned that a lot. Just yeah, yeah. the traditional style of tattoos. And then if you could, just sort of explain really what that is. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's traditional. I mean, it's tough for me to really explain. It's like if it had like a, a, a textbook definition. Okay, yeah. It's it, traditional ink in a sense. It's It was it was formed or started by Norman Seller Jerry Collins. Uh, a lot of people just know him as Seller Jerry. I, you know, you've seen me. I, I have my yeah. hoodie on today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got a clothing line. He's got rum that people, some people oh, only yeah, know okay. Seller Jerry because okay. of his uh, spiced rum. Okay. So that's a hit. I've introduced that to a lot of people and they, 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 for <laughs> there people you, that are rum, rum fans. But anyways, uh, I like that, that, that style. He, he was a merchant marine back in World War II. Okay. And he learned it from when he was stationed or he, he frequented the ports in Japan, even in the years like in the aftermath right at the tail end of World War II. And uh, he learned their artistry, like their way of, of uh, flag. Like when, when somebody says, oh, I got some flash, it's, it's like a drawing, you know. Okay. You know what tattoo flash oh, is. Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's uh, you know, just examples and, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's no, tattoo yeah, it's flash. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, traditional flash, which, you know, Sailor Jerry is known for being like the, the father of that, which was kind of taken over nowadays. See, if people don't know Sailor Jerry, I bet you if I say the name Ed Hardy, don't they know, know okay. it. And, okay. and it, that's traditional ink with a little bit of a different style but of course me being a sailor jerry guy <laughs> i kind of tend you're, you're to, the, to dislike guy. ed hardy and that whole <laughs> yeah. deal because yeah. they don't tend to give credit to sailor jerry okay. for being okay. the one to like start that whole movement okay because once he learned th that way of of drawing and that way of shading it's a traditional it's, it the best way i could describe it is it's real like the the outlines are real prominent real dark out you know the with the outline and then the dark shading you know it's a particular style of shading and, and drawing and like drawing the old school pinup girls and different oh, okay, things. Right, That's right, a traditional right, right. thing. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so it's I don't know. It's I fall in love with it because it ties into a lot of sailors have that kind of ink from back in the day. And me being a former sailor myself, um, and my best friend from high school, his dad was in the navy. Now my best friend from high school is a chief <laughs> in the navy. Oh, wow. So we've always been drawn to traditional ink. Um, you know, and Sailor Jerry after he did his time in the Merchant Marines, he set up a shop. Right on the strip, right near the base in the uh, the naval base in Honolulu, Hawaii. Okay. And he had a famous sh tattoo shop, tattooing all the sailors coming home from the war and <laughs> different things like that. So he brought that over here to America. He was the first one to do it. And I love traditional stuff. I love historical stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say I have a problem with regular pieces. Like even my my uh, social distortion one, it's not a traditional piece. Um, and there's been some great ink that I've seen that aren't considered traditional. Yeah. It's just my style. That's what I want to do sleeves of, but that doesn't mean that I might find a piece that I like that I'll throw on my thigh or something like that uh, that isn't considered traditional. Like when I redo the Lazio one, that probably there's no way to really do that traditionally. Now, I do have my traditional piece with my pinup girl. It has a traditional eagle uh, in it, you know, behind her, and um, I suppose I could turn the Lazio eagle into a traditional <laughs> yeah, eagle, yeah, yeah. but it wouldn't quite fit how the bad their club badge works and everything. So. Yeah, I, I'll have different ink on me, but I do prefer traditional because of just the shading and just the, okay. the historical nature of it. Okay, all so. right. Well, I want to say two things. One, thank you very much for your service. And Absolutely. two, thank you for joining me today. Absolutely, man. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. All right. You've the world.